Hey everyone, Escape Dillion here, and today we are opening Kickstarter Alpha Clash The Awakening. Let's go. Alright, Escape Dillion here, and today we are opening Alpha Clash The Awakening. This is the Kickstarter version of Alpha Clash. So Alpha Clash is a TCG that is basically kind of comic book superhero style. <clears throat> but they've done pretty well with their community and the latest release, Clash Grounds. Looks like the gameplay is picking up steam, and there's just a lot of cool artwork cards in here. It's very comic book-esque, and I think in the newer set from what I've seen, they've kind of leaned into that comic book style a little bit more. So I'm looking forward to opening this. All I have right now are promos, but I did back the Kickstarter back in the day, and never really got around to opening some of the Kickstarter products, so I figured it's a good time to. So what we have is a booster box, and I'm just going to go ahead and do one blister. But first, let's go ahead and switch to human hands. Now that's better. So I think I'll save the blister for last. Let's go ahead and explore the box a little bit. So the Awakening. So this game kind of has like heroes in it, so it says... Dive into a world of heroes and super-powered action with the Alpha Clash trading card game. Inside you'll find 24 packs full of uncommon heroes and sinister villains. Choose your side and build the ultimate deck to become the champion. For more information, go to www.alphaclashtcg.com. Rising Empire Studios, LLC 2022. Okay. There used to be a lot more of a superhero kind of guy when it came to watching movies and comic books. I've backed off a little bit, but I think Alpha Flash is doing a really good job. Looks like we have a box topper here. So my box topper is Magnate the Tyrant. Hollow patterns are pretty cool. Most of the cards have this kind of full art style about them. Very nice. And also, Alpha Clash had successfully funded a graphic novel recently. I did back that as well. Came with a cool bookmark, some promos, and this graphic novel. So I'm looking forward to getting into that eventually. But this video is about opening the cards, so let's get back to it. So we've got 24 booster packs to get through. Let me just put my knife away. see what the booster packs actually look like real quick. So nine trading cards per pack. This booster pack contains nine additional trading cards including five common, two uncommon, one rare, and one guarantee foil common, uncommon, rare, epic, iconic rare, legendary, or alpha rare. Wow, so there's a lot of different rarities in this game. Packs are little bit a little bit tight so moral boost moxie preparing for battle moxie sidearm power overflowing sergeant Weber energy shield better luck next time there is a hollow Moxie fully loaded. That seems like it's a good hit. It's got the uh, gold stamp there. So this is an Alpha Hunter. Alright, well excuse me for my ignorance. Hopefully that, I mean it looks like a really cool hit. I'll figure it out later though. Moxie Prime to Clash. So at the end of it, we'll go through all the hits, and maybe uh, in the edit, I can let you know which cards were kind of what rarity. Alright, Magnate, charging up. Magnate, cunning power. Or planner, excuse me. Magnate's plan. Mean Streak, looking for trouble. Mean Streak, ready to brawl. Energy Absorption, Energy Blast, 
Mean Streak, Blink of an Eye. There's our hollow hit. So there's another stamp there, so maybe the stamps aren't a determination of rarity. I'll have to see afterwards. Mork on the Hunt. You know what? I'll have to double check. So real quick before we get into this pack. Looks like down in the corner here, so it says Kickstarter Alpha Clash 1 dash the number, and then in parentheses it has R. So there it's got UC. So I guess that tells you the rarity. So I'm assuming obviously UC uncommon and uh, R would be rare. So this one says IR and the one beneath it says IR as well. So let's go ahead and look at the pack. So IR would be iconic rare. So it looks like there's two rarities above that. All right, so now we kind of have a better idea. So streak absorbing blow, streaks assemble, streaks inbound, surprise, T-bone shockwave, San Francisco. That's pretty cool. Streaks engage. And it looks like we have a common olive oil. Energy explosion. Morek on the hunt. Yeah, so that the packs are kind of tight. I wonder if in the newer sets they change that up at all. Alright, Solar Flare. Sonoro. Spiritual Defense. Shadow's Light Beam, Shadow Light, Menacing Magnate, Metal Barrage, and our hollow of this one is another common. So that's going to be Cao Ling, Bane of the Discarded. Moxie, Prime to Clash. So it looks like what we'd like to see in that little right corner would be an A, or an L for Legendary, or an A for Alpha, uh, alpha Rare, maybe it's AR, Alpha Rare. Okay, Terrence T-Bone Bernard, the Avenging Guy, Torque, Torque Redirecting Damage, Torque the Diabolical, T-Bone Powers Unlocked. It looks like that card has a little bit of damage at the top. T-Bone, the Vindictive. And Flare. It's another common hollow, but very nice artwork, very nice hollowing nonetheless. Moxie, Prime to Clash. Energy Explosion, Flare, Garfield Park Lagoon, Incoming Supports, Magnate Charging Up, Torque Raging Force, United Nations Headquarters. Alright, we have an uncommon hollow, Colonel Edwards. Clarity's Dagger. It does look like it has a tear tab. Let's try the tear tab on this one. I right, guess that does make it a little easier. Sergeant Weber. Shadow Light's Light Beam. Shadow Light, Sharpshooter Moxie. Sinister Assistance. Mean Streak, Newfound Powers. Mean Streak, Unique Speedster. Common avenging guy trying to help in Hollow. Morak on the hunt.
Magnate, coming, cunning planner. Magnate's plan. Mean streak, looking for trouble. Mean streak, ready to brawl. Morale boost. War cry, prideful warrior. Weber, weapons expert. So, uncommon energy absorption. Earthly barricade. It does look like a decent amount of the cards from these packs have some kind of indentation towards the top, unfortunately. I'm sure it's something that's been fixed in other ones. Maybe I got a little unlucky with this box. Um, but I'm sure the future sets have improved. Okay. Mean Streak, ready to brawl. Morale boost. Moxie preparing for battle. Moxie's sidearm. Power overflowing. Magnate's gamma sphere. And I don't know if you can see. Let me see if I can try to get. So up at the top, you can kind of see what I'm talking about with those indentations. Magnate's trap. All right, common Antarctica. I really think it's cool that they actually used real world places. Mean Streep, intercepting. Moxie, preparing for battle. Moxie's sidearm. Power overflowing. Sergeant Weber, Shadow's Light Light Beam. Better luck next time. Clairvoyance. And an uncommon energy blast. Grant Park, Chicago. So it looks like the company's name is Rising Empire Studios. Streaks inbound. Surprise. T-Bone Shockwave, Terrence T-Bone Bernard, The Avenging Guy, San Francisco, Streaks Engage, and a rare Solar Smash. Sonaro The Awakened Breaker. Shadow Light, Sharpshooter Moxie, Sinister Assistant, Solar Flare, Sonaro, Charity the Clairvoyant One, Colonel Edwards, Energy Shield, Uncommon Hollow, Lynn the Night Warrior. So I want to say that the beginning set was kind of a smaller set. Not sure what the set size plans are for the future, but. See, spiritual defense, streak absorbing blow, streaks assemble, streaks inbound, surprise, energy absorption, energy blast, flare, solar force. That is an uncommon. Magnate, unwavering might. Seems like the hollows don't uh, suffer quite as much from that top indentation. So that's nice. Terrence Tebow and Bernard, The Avenging Guy, Torque, Torque Redirecting Damage, Torque the Diabolical, Weber Weapons Expert, Better Luck Next Time, Chaoling, Bane of the Discarded, say Hollow Common there, and Magnate Unwavering Might. Weber's Binoculars, Shadow Light, Shop Shooter Mark Moxie, Sinister Assistant, Solar Flare, Warcry Prideful Warrior, Weber Weapons Expert, Incoming Support, Common Holofoil, and Mean Streak Intercepting. Weber's Assistant, Weber's Binoculars, Avenging Guy Trying to Help, Xiaoling, 
Bane of the Discarded, Captain Moxine Riggins, Clairvoyance, Charity the Clairvoyant One, uh, Captain Maxine Riggins, and Common Hollow, and Mean Streak Intercepting. The Avenging Guy, Torque, Torque Redirecting Damage, Torque the Diabolical, Weber's Assistance, Torque Raging Force, United Nations Headquarters, Garfield Park Lagoon, Common Hollow, and Magnate, Unwavering Might. Surprise! T-Bone Shockwave, Terence T-Bone Bernard, The Avenging Guy, Torque, T-Bone Powers Unlocked, T-Bone the Vindictive, Magnate Cunning Power, Common Hollow, Moxie Prime to Clash. Streaks Assemble, Streaks Inbound, Surprise, T-Bone Shockwave, Terrence T-Bone Bernard, T-Bone Powers Unlocked, T-Bone the Vindictive, a lot of T-Bone, Flare Uncommon Hollow, Glenn the Nanite Warrior, uh oh, had a bulk catastrophe. Back to it. So let's see. A few more packs. All right. Sonoro. Spiritual defense. Streaks absorbing blow. Streaks assemble. Streaks inbound. San Francisco. Streaks engage. Magnate charging up. Common holofoil. Morak on the hunt. That was definitely a streaks pack. Torque. Torque redirecting damage. Torque the Diabolical. Weber's Assistance. Weber's Binoculars. San Francisco. Streaks engage. And looks like we have a different rarity here. Machina. Unstoppable Force. So, this is an epic rare. Has a little E in the corner. Oh. Second Hollow. That's cool. Apex Vortex Slinger. So that is a rare hollow. Nice. Incoming support. Magnate charging up. Magnate's cunning power. Magnate's plan. Mean streak looking for trouble. Magnate's gamma spear. Magnate's trap. And another epic rare, Flare, Explosive Combatant. Nice. And we have another hollow. Sonoro the Awakened Breaker. That is a rare. Looks like the last few packs are bringing more heat. Destructive Arrival, Detroit. Energy Explosion, Flare, Garfield Park Lagoon, Machina, Magnate Ready to Fight, Clarity, Foreseeing Fate. That is an epic hollow. And Solar Smash in a rare hollow.
Affliction, Amazon Rainforest, Ancient Protection, Antarctica, Avenging Guy Trying to Help, T-Bone Powers Unlocked, T-Bone the Vindictive, and a Magnate the Undisputed, an Epic Rare Hollow. Clarity's Dagger in the Rare Hollow. Okay, so that was the last of our packs from the booster box. Let's go ahead and open one of these blister packs. I guess the sleeve. So I'm assuming this is more of the uh oh yeah, I think you can always open it from the side with that. Oh well, I already destroyed this one. So this would be something more you would see as a hanger and an LGS or something. Sharpshooter Moxie, Sinister Assistance, Solar Flare, Sonaro, Spiritual Defense, Better Luck Next Time, Clairvoyance, Here Comes the Boom, that is an epic rare, and Sonaro the Fierce Fighter. Okay, so why don't we scroll through the hollows and then we'll scroll through kind of our better hits. So these are going to be the common and uncommon hollows for the most part. That way you can kind of see the artwork, see the hollows a little bit more. There's a few rares in here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just sort those out real quick because the rares are not super rare in this game, it seems. Okay, so here's a couple more of the rares. Definitely more glossy on the cards. Alright, and then here's our main hits. So it was Here Comes the Boom. That was an epic rare. Then you had Magnate, the Undisputed, an epic. Clarity, Foreseeing Fate, an epic. Flare, Explosive Combat, an epic. Combatant. Machina, Unstoppable uh, Force, an epic. Then Moxie, fully loaded with the stamp. That was the, uh, excuse me, I see was Iconic Rare. Then you had Mean Streak, Blink of an Eye with the stamp. That was another Iconic Rare. So it doesn't look like we hit any legendary or alpha rare cards, but I'd say I'm happy with that. Seems like we got two kind of main hits and um, looks like five that were kind of that center of the road hit. But it's just cool checking out another new indie TCG. Um, I'll go ahead and put links in the description to Alpha Clash if any of you guys are interested in checking it out more. Uh, I've been seeing a lot more people starting to grade these cards, especially the promos, and I do have a round of promos from the Kickstarter. So, hope to see Alpha Clash all around for a lot longer. Definitely planning on picking up at least a box of the new set so I can check out those cards that look more like comic book style. Um, but, as always, I appreciate you guys checking out my videos. If you feel so kind as to leave me a like and a comment, it's greatly appreciated. This has been Scape Alien. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.